Okay, hello folks. I've just gotten done washing my leaves and I wanted to show you the dried leaves that I gathered last week and I, I showed you those. Um, when I gathered them, there is a video on that. I th Those were those uh, large plants that became wilty and then leaves that I gathered in the yard and, and I've collected and and those are fully dry now and so I will be processing these into tea uh, tea leaves shortly like I said I've got a lot going on I'm trying to to just do one thing at a time not get overwhelmed and uh, and it'll be fine so I have the fresh leaves here laid out to dry now what I do is this is my daughter's room well she she don't you know she has her own house so she don't come home anymore and uh, and so I've got the her bed I, I have this sheet that I lay out and this is where I dry my stuff and I have a fan right over here that blows on low very gently and you can see the the leaves moving and what I do is every few days or every day it just depends I come in and I turn them I turn them and I check them and what I did was I'm um, I'm making I'm making a wreath for her uh, of the Varosa I'm taking a, a grapevine wreath and 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 I don't have to worry about her uh, finding out because she doesn't watch my videos. I don't know why, but she doesn't. Uh, but what I'm doing is each of my varieties of Barossa, I am bundling like this. You see, and then I'm I'm doing it around. I'm using the grapevine wreath as a base. And in my grapevine wreath, I have the Usnia tucked in from from here, from Lincoln County. And then each of these bundles, I'm going to to uh, weave into the grapevine wreath so that she can just hang it on her wall and just pinch from it as she wants to. Now she has plenty of the plant herself, and she. Uh, and she makes her own tinctures and salves and medicinals, but um, I want it. I want her to have some from home, and then I'm always wanting to give her things to keep her encouraged and remind her of home. Because she doesn't, she doesn't come home much, and and so she can hang this, you know, this wreath uh, on a wall. And, and then she can just pinch from it if she needs to. She doesn't even necessarily have to go out and gather. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave some turkey tail mushrooms in here too. Make it look real pretty and everything. But anyway, that's, that's something else. But I did want to show you my drying techniques. Uh, I, I prefer that uh, paper bag drying when I only have a few plants, a few leaves that I need to dry. When I have something like this in bulk, I need to be able to spread it out so that there's no mold, so that, so that it, it gets dry, so that all the water gets dried off. And, and I will actually, when I move the dried ones out, I will spread the sheet out further and I will just spread these out so that they can get real good and dry. And uh, I do have videos on this. They're in, my, uh, they're in my 2017 videos and there's more detail to this. But I just wanted to show the new people who have started following me. Here is the technique once I and and listen, I have gotten all kinds of do this, do that, do this, do that. Everybody has to find what is their uh, preferred method. Uh, I've seen people take screen doors or screen windows and spread it out. Well, I don't, I don't have that kind of room. I I live in a little city 
yard and I have a little tiny city house and so I have to make do with the best and quickest way that I can so this works for me if you want to use a dehydrator if you want to use an oven and slow dry it whatever is your preferred method you do that I, I want to stress again when when working with uh, medicinal plants native plants for me, it's very intuitive, uh, and I feel like the more that you guys handle the plants, you touch it, you smell it, you feel it, you turn it over in your hands, I feel that you will gain that as well. None of this is for you to just come to me and, and take my word for anything. I want all of y'all to do this for yourselves and and to embrace it and to feel confident in it. And and if you need to watch this a dozen times, although I just don't know how you could do that, but if you wanted to, you could. And 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 then there's other videos out there and then just learn your way, make your own path. As we look back on the mountain people and primitive people and native people that learned this, that brought these things from the old countries that many of our forefathers came from and settled here, and then the people that born here um, learning how to use the plants, learning how to handle them, learning how to work with them. You know, that was their path. They didn't have anybody to teach them. They had a word of mouth and somebody's granny told them or, or, or papa or, you know, showed them something. But then they had to learn their own path. So I want y'all to learn your own path for doing this. Whatever works for y'all, embrace it and do it. It's not, it's not anybody else's uh, rules. There's not a rule book to this. There are things that you can learn from others. But in the end, this is about your path of learning and embracing nature, what God has provided for us to heal ourselves. So, um, I've actually, that was a couple little videos there back to back. And so... Um, I am going to go uh, get those plants ready to ship out, but I did just want to show y'all the drying method. And then until the next video, I will see you later, and God bless you.